Welcome back to Project Too Easy. Today, we're going to be covering some geography for year nine. So here we go. This is biomes and food security. So starting off with biomes. Biomes, also known as ecosystems, are a large community of vegetation and wildlife adapted to a specific climate. Here are the five main biomes, them being grassland, a transitional space between forest and desert, which have an abundance of grass and spread out trees. Forest, the most diverse ecosystem, which has an abundance of plants and animals. Aquatic, which is submerged in water. Lakes, rivers, wetlands and oceans all count as aquatic biomes. Tundra, which is found in cold regions beyond the tree line, which is the line that trees do not grow past. Uh, very cold and permafrost is beneath the surface and desert low rainfall hot by day cold by night in some cases and there is very little liquid water here are the four main australian biomes here we have desert which takes up most of central australia grassland and savannah which takes up the edges tropical which you find uh, over east and equatorial which you find up near the equator Staple foods. A staple food is a cheap, easy to farm food item. Cereals, wheat, maize, rice, rye, fish and oats are common staple foods. Here are the three main ones. Maize, also known as corn, uh, is the most produced crop in the world. Wheat is the most common staple food. This is because it can be grown in almost every climate. Fish. Fish is a staple food of many seaside areas. About 3 billion people rely on fish as their staple food. Farming terms. Arable describes land that can be used for growing crops. Biofuel. Fuel that comes from renewable sources. The Green Revolution. An increase in agricultural productivity resulting from the introduction of high yield grains. The use of pesticides and improved management practices. Monoculture. A single crop farm. Now we get to play true or false. First question. The world's population will increase to 9 billion by 2050. Second question. South America is bigger than Africa. Third question. Africa is the same size as all farming land on Earth. Fourth question. The amount of grazing land on Earth is three times bigger than Africa. And fifth question. Most of Earth's arable land is already in use. And pause the video now if you want some more time to think. But here are the answers. And here we go. So question one is true. Question two is false. Question three is true. Question four is true. And question five is true. If you like the true or falses, just leave a comment and I'll be sure to include one in the next video. Agribusinesses. An agribusiness is a business set up to support, process and distribute agricultural products. And here are some types of agribusinesses. Sheep and cattle, which is extensive farming requires less rainfall and is found in savannah and grassland areas. Wheat, the average farm is about 910 hectares. You need approximately 500 millimeters of rainfall each year and it's found in cleared savannah and forest areas. Mixed farms, both grazing and crops, usually quite small and are found in wetter areas. Intensive farming is found close to urban centers and is labor intensive. This covers like orchards, Plantation farming, found in warm, well-watered areas and are sold on the local and global markets. Forest clearing and logging. Pre-industrial times, 45% of land was forest, now it's only 30%. Forests are mainly cleared for timber and farming space. Agriculture takes up 37% of land. Why do we clear forests? Well, main reasons are mines, timber and paper production, dams, farming, and urbanization. Food security. The access to safe and healthy food at all times. Food insecurity can lead to obesity because of a lack of fresh fruit and vegetables and malnourishment due to a lack of food altogether. Food security can be caused by rapid population growth, weak economy, weak political systems, conflict, and natural disasters. Land degradation. Land degradation can be caused by erosion, salinity, insects, loss of biodiversity, desertification, overclearing, 
over cultivation, over grazing and over watering. Water supplies. Water uses 70% of Earth's fresh water. Main causes for water shortages is food production, growth of urban and industrial demand, poor farming practices, over extraction and poor management. Potable means safe to drink and water stress is when water demands exceed the supply. And that brings us to the end of everything covered in the geography part of year nine. This PowerPoint was made by me, Project Too Easy. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video.